Before we even get to the controversy, because you've been viral for the last week, um, I think you found your niche. You know, I even told you last time in the last interview, get on Instagram more. Yeah. You know, Facebook's for the, you know, a different... Your friends and family, your, yeah. your local people, yeah. But Instagram is more youth. Yeah. And now I'm starting to see you go back and forth with the youth and yeah. you're being interactive and stuff like that, but... Um, I see it's a wall you got to tear down with the youth. Uh, if you don't, if you don't look... If you're not a professional ball player, uh, if you're not, if you don't resemble, uh, uh, you know, kind of look like what the rappers look like, uh, then they don't embrace you. They don't accept accept you. You know, yeah. to them, everybody is dismissed and uh, disregarded as a dope fiend, a drunk, uh, or just a broke nigga, right? So if you don't look flashy and you can't catch the eye, then chances are they won't give you their ear, right? Mm. So uh, yeah, I've been worn and torn with him. Uh, but I'm going to get at them, though. Yeah, we having fun right now. <laughs> For sure. Now, when I first uploaded our first interview, a lot of people were, were upset with me. Yeah. Um, because of the comments. Yeah. You know, like I said before, you're very unapologetic. Unless then, I think I'm wrong. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You've apologized before. Um, but there, then there are a lot of people who like to leave emo rat emojis and yeah. paperwork. And yeah. a lot of people were attacking me about that. And I've asked you this twice before. And you, you told me you were like, Sean, we spoke about this before. So on camera, like going up about that a little bit more because now you have new fans that you didn't have yeah. last time that don't understand why people say the things about what they say about you in the street. Well, uh, here's the thing. They ain't saying it in the streets. Internet. Yeah, it's been saying on the internet, homie. So real street niggas can't address what's understood don't need to be explained, right? All street niggas know it got to be paperwork on a snitch, homie. Can't no, it ain't no rat, no rat without no paperwork. It ain't no such thing as an anonymous snitch. February of 2020, homie, last year, uh, I got with Dallas Global and a few other media outlets. So I put out a little old reward, man, $25,000 reward, man. But uh, yeah, nah, homie, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't no motherfucking informant. I ain't no motherfucking snitch. That's internet talk, right? That's where all the lame niggas at on the internet, homie. Uh, everybody know in the streets, you can't call no nigga no snitch without no paperwork. So we've been saying, where the paperwork? Now, and my, I'm saying this, nigga, to get a juvenile statement, homie, that's some impossible shit. Man, it's almost impossible to go get something out of juvenile court, homie. It's easy to get something on me. So you got to think, it's been a whole year since they've been saying Rat Williams, right? Nigga, come on now. Somebody ought to be able to get something. It ought to be a nigga calling from jail saying, man, the nigga put me in jail. It ought to be a nigga getting out of jail saying, yeah, man, I just got out of jail for that nigga. It should be a policeman. It ain't nothing but internet talk. So, nigga, I let the people think what they think. Yeah, nigga, yeah. It make for more uh, entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and here's the thing. I'm not in the streets, right? I ain't no street nigga. I don't operate by no street rule. If I look out that window and I see a nigga breaking the law, I'm gonna grab the phone and dial 911 and give the police the description of that nigga. I'm gonna look down there and try to get the license plate number and give him the license plate number. And if he done something bad enough, I'm gonna run down there and chase that nigga ass with the gun, telling the police where he went. I'm a law-abiding citizen. Nigga, I ain't breaking no motherfucking law. It feels so good not to follow these goddamn street rules, nigga. Because when I was following the street rules, nigga wasn't following them. So I said, fuck that shit. I got out that shit, nigga, went to paying taxes. I vote. I'm a PTA dad. I'm an election judge, nigga. And I'm going to call the police on a nigga ass if he's doing wrong in the community. Do you feel like that's where people get the rat? No. That, see, those are, those are the internet street thugs. All... Good street folk know that these rules don't apply to me and grandmama and them. No, these, no, see, that's where these niggas get it twisted at, homie. There's a difference between snitching, criminal snitch. There's a difference between telling. There's a difference between setting things straight. Niggas think setting things straight is snitching. Internet people think telling is snitching. No, snitching is it. Me and you go commit a crime together. We have agreed to be criminals. We get caught committing a crime, I tell for a lesser charge or to escape the consequences. That's snitching. If me and you riding in the car, I'm on my way to work. I just gave you a ride because you my nigga. You a dope boy nigga. You got dope in your pocket. I'm driving my car, getting you a ride somewhere. 
If you throw the dope down in the seat when we get pulled over and the police says, say, who dope is this? And me and you looking at each other and you don't say nothing. And I say, sir, that's his. Nigga, I ain't told nothing. We just to set this shit straight, nigga, because you wasn't man enough to, yeah, so <laughs> no. See, these niggas ain't been around no real street niggas, homie. Ain't nobody been, ta ain't nobody taught these niggas no street codes. So they trying to come enforce the street codes on me, and there ain't no real street niggas. So no, man, we just play with the internet, nigga. We don't worry about the internet talk. Now, one more other thing. For you bad motherfuckers on the internet, right? For the gangster niggas that like to point the guns at the cameras and say, drop your location for you niggas, right? If I'm on the internet talking and you jump on there and say, I'll slap you. And I say, nigga, you a lying motherfucker. You won't slap me. And you say, next time I see you, I'm going to do this to you. And I say, no, nah, nigga, you won't do this. And then you say, on Crip Gang. Whoa, he a gang member. Yeah, nigga, such and such. I'm 98 Crip and I done killed five niggas. Now you trying to convince me how bad you is. Now, if you convince me you bad. You scared me. Nigga, and I think you a bad motherfucker. I'm going downtown and tell that white man on you. You a bad motherfucker. So next time I see you, nigga, <laughs> I know what to do with a bad motherfucker. Now, I don't want to have to see you and you a bad motherfucker. And I ain't went and told the teacher you bullying me. So when we get in trouble, we both get suspended. And I'm on my way and I'm a good football player and I got a good reputation in school. I'm supposed to tell the teacher you bullying me, man. That's what mama tell us to do, man. Nigga fucking with you. You go tell them people. And when after you tell them, then you get his ass. Yeah. Right. Yeah, now, let me cut you off. Have you seen the 60 Minutes with uh, the rapper Cameron? No. OK. The man asked Cameron if he lived next to a serial killer and he knew he was a serial, a serial killer. Would he move or would he tell on him? And Cameron said he wouldn't tell the police that he was a silly a serial killer, he would rather move. That's the nigga, that's the nigga who know uh that's the that's the cousin in the family who know Uncle Leroy fucking all the little girls, molesting all the little girls, and he won't say nothing. He the nigga that let the molester walk around. He the nigga know, know that nigga molesting all the little girls, homie, and he won't do nothing to him and let alone tell on him. Them the niggas we got to kill and get rid of, them kind of niggas. Them the niggas we got to get rid of, homie. Yeah. Oh, come on now. That's the nigga that's whooping your mama and telling the little boy in the room, you better not snitch. We don't, don't nobody snitch. You better not come in here beating your mama ass, boy. You better not snitch. That's the nigga that got the kids keeping the secrets. No, them ain't the niggas. Them the rapping niggas. Them the niggas I'm talking about. Them kind of niggas like that. And their grandpa go kick the nigga in the ass and tell the white folk that boy done killed 15 people. How we go not tell on him? No, homie, we fucked up. If that's the thought process that we trying to convey to the youth, to the youth mm. that's why so many little girls think it's all right to get beat on. That's why so many little boys think it's all right when they uncle come home from prison and he being perverted around the house and he say something, oh, nigga, you snitch and tell your mama I'm walking around in my drawers, huh? Nigga, your dick falling out your boxes when you walking around the house. Nigga, the girls see this shit, nigga. Get your shit together, huh? I got partners, homie. I'm telling you, partners, situations. We got, to, we got to deal with the sickest motherfuckers in our village, in our society, and we got to be hush about it. Nigga, grandmama did that for so long. It's always one uncle in the family who done molest everybody, and we all know he done molest, but he at the family reunion, he still get to hug all the girls. And grandmama know he done molested. He been molesting for two generations. Come on, homie, so we gotta start speaking out, nigga. Yeah, now let me challenge you. Earlier you said that if you see somebody doing something illegal, you would tell on them. In my community, yes. In your community. Okay, Zimmerman did the same thing. Now. You growing up in a in a black neighborhood, right? You're taught to mind your business. If you see somebody doing something, look the other way. I wasn't taught that. You only po 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 criminal motherfuckers is taught that. In the neighborhoods, you ain't taught to mind your business. Miss Mary sitting in the goddamn window all day long looking out the window. It's a woman in every, it's an old woman in everybody neighborhood looking out the window, seeing who's selling dope, and she calling downtown telling them people. She's showing up at the city council meeting telling them people, we wasn't taught to mind our business. Them is the crooks coming to tell us, mind your motherfucking business, so they can destroy the neighborhood without being held accountable. Okay, so what's the difference between what you said earlier and Zimmerman? Well, Zimmerman did the right thing, right? Zimmerman 
is a white boy in a white boy's neighborhood, and here come these Dr. King following motherfuckers living in our neighborhood. Now they, they done got Dr. King dream, and we don't want these niggas over here. It's been break-ins in the neighborhood. The man got a history of roaming the neighborhood, fucking with everybody, white folk, black folk, and mainly nigger folk, right? So, boom, we was taught white boy, Mexican boy, nigger boy. Whoever grown, boy, you do what grown folks say do. When the grown boy say stop, you stop. The white boy say he on the phone with the police. I'm going to hang up with my girlfriend. Say, bitch, let me call you back. Mama, this white man following me, talking about I'm doing something. Man, I'm standing right here waiting. For, if nothing else, me and him finna stand there and argue. Mama, man, I ain't done a motherfucking thing. I just walked to the store. I ain't done nothing. I ain't finna. No, daddy. Daddy. I'm not fit to deal. So you teach your son, you don't deal with no grown man. That's what we here for as adults. You don't stand there and argue with no grown man. If they wrong, you call me. You don't deal with it, son. You don't fight no grown man, nigga. Even if you can whoop him. You see, he got the ups on you because he can now thank you. Wow, from the bottom. He got the ups on you because he can now thank you. And if he fought in your boy, he got to have something on you. But you ain't been taught how to conflict resolute. All you know how to do is and you whooped him and it cost you your life because you don't know how to engage other men. You don't know how to conflict resolute. And you got to thank this white boy. We in these white folks neighborhood, nigga, you new to this town. You ain't from up here. You walking in these folks neighborhood roaming with a hood on. Every nigga with a hood looks suspicious anywhere, even in a nigga's neighborhood. You away from so you see what I'm saying? So, no, nah, homie, my son is taught, nigga, when you run across them, no, nah, nigga, you shut your motherfucking mouth and call me. But if ain't nobody taught you that, then you jump on every man and they go make a man kill you. Because you can Mike and whoop the man, but the man go kill you because he can now thank you. Mm -hmm. You ain't been on earth long enough. So we all emotion. We're not analytic. So that's what I'm saying. So but in my communities, George Zimmerman was was in his community. Right. Though he was wrong. He was in his community. Two wrongs. They never made a right. Yeah. But Trayvon was wrong. But does that mean you got to kill him? Listen, homie, when you whoop him, right listen, either, listen homie, listen, when we go to fighting, when we go to fighting, whether you a boy or a man, mm -hmm. and you whooping me, when you whooping me, Trayvon wrong cost him his life. Zimmerman's wrong almost cost him his life. Right. Right? But it still cost him his mm -hmm. life. Now you got to be in hiding. But homie, listen, we was taught as black people in this country, we got to outthink that white boy. Nigga, we ain't never been able to beat the white boy with our hands. Nigga, the nigga with the muscles ain't never won. The nigga with the brains do. The brains won. He already knew. He been waiting to kill him a nigga. So we gonna give them what they want, huh? No, nigga, come home, baby. So now we saying, okay, uh, he wrong, he wrong. Nigga, we ain't got no team hunting him. He done been stopped in Texas. He done been shot at by another white boy. That white boy got like 40 years for shooting his yeah, Zimmerman. In Florida. Yeah, so it's, he out in the public. He done been arrested some time. So this is what I'm saying. We ain't even thinking about Zimmerman, homie, until somebody like me mentioned it. We waking up thinking about that nigga who coming up down the street that we need to rob. We ain't even thinking about our kids, homie. We so stuck on other niggas and rappers, that's all we want to <clears> do is call home to one another. We don't want to feed our babies. Killing don't feed our babies.